This is the goof. I've been wanting to, uh, excuse me while I move up here a little better. I've been wanting to uh, talk about some things for a while now, and uh, I haven't. And my controls has the video clicked again. I don't like it flipped like that. I want it flipped mirror. Thank you. This way I know when I go to look this way. <laughs> yeah, I'm finicky like that. Alright. Uh, not long ago, uh, Rich of Review Tech USA made a video. I wasn't sure how to make my own video responding to that video. I made a couple of attempts and I felt like they went overboard because I wanted to make a point without being insulting and I think I might have been, been insulting. Those videos are never going to go up. Rich talked about how that new t Rise of the Tomb Raider is no longer it's not an actual exclusive, it's timed exclusive. He was very upset about it and he think it was a great idea when it was an actual exclusive but how do I say this? Look, I'm not trying to be insulting, but Rich, this is to you. It's always been that way with Microsoft. They don't own the IP. They didn't pay for the development. They basically handed a little scratch to them and said, make it happen on our console first. You want more exclusives on the Xbox One? they need to get more studios under their belt. IPs that they own. Microsoft doesn't hardly have that. The argument that people are going to get it on PC and not on the Xbox One is lacking as well. That comment just made me made me want to go They can't. Not when a lot of people can't afford a good ended, you know, a good high ended PC. I mean, there's really not that many people who could afford a PC that can play a game like that. It's expensive. The Xbox One is a cheap alternative. I can almost guarantee you any game that's going to be on both the PC and Xbox One, they're going to get on the Xbox One first and foremost. Um. But the bottom line is they don't own the IP. Tomb Raider is not their I IP, so of course it's timed exclusive. I know you are capable of more logic and common sense than that, Rich. I know you are. You're a smart guy. It's not going to be an exclusive. And even when they announced it, I was like, this, does, this isn't going to stick. It's not an actual exclusive. This has got to be timed. Even back when it was announced. It pissed me off when I heard that it was... Uh, an exclusive, but then I stepped back and went, no, it's not. No, it's not. They might get it on their console first, but that's it. But yeah, you're probably just going to have to look forward to being pissed a lot with the Xbox One. Microsoft, I, I've always felt that they didn't really belong in what they're, what they're doing. I felt like they should have stayed out of the console business since they got into it. Uh, but they don't have the first party manpower that they used to have. And even the first party's IPs and studios and studio they do have not being utilized very well. I mean, the best that they've done in recent, recently that I know of, recently, that they did well and I thought was good on them, was bringing back Killer Instinct. Good call. Now can we get more Conquer? Can we get more Banjo-Kazooie? Can we get another perfect dark? You have these, Microsoft has these IPs and they're just sitting on them. They think platformers aren't going to make much of a profit. Really? Out of all three consoles, Microsoft, out of all three of the, the, the big three, Microsoft doesn't really have that much. They don't have much in the way of IPs. They don't have much in the way of studios to develop games. They don't have a whole lot. It's sad, but it's true. Uh, I think that's why they were so desperate to have DRM. They thought it would help propel them a bit more. 
Now, when it comes to I personal, you know, uh, uh, independent properties, or no, intellectual, intellectual. God, I'm stupid. Intellectual properties at first party studios. Nintendo's up at the head. They have the most uh, IPs that they own, uh, intel intellectual properties that they own, and they even have a whole lot more studios than the other two guys. That being said, Sony comes in a close second. This isn't fanboy crap, this is common knowledge. I'm just stating obvious truth. Microsoft? This might be their last run making consoles. At least the way we know them now. I get the feeling it's going to be drastically changed. My suggestion to Microsoft, make a console that's basically an affordable PC. Allow people to add mods to their games. Allow people to edit graphical resources and stuff like I can do on my PC. I can do all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, I love Skyrim because I changed up a lot of stuff in Skyrim to make it personalized and fun. This is something Microsoft has always had a hard time wrapping their head around. Personalization and modification. They have a huge issue with this crap. Ever since Windows came out, they gave uh, no one, is it no one, no, uh, the guy who got Linux going will say that, the new Linux. They gave him shit. And ever since then, every Windows that ever comes out, if you do manage to change some code, access some stuff, change up some stuff, it's not legal, supposedly. Customization of things is not there. Microsoft is probably one of the worst companies in the world. Uh, do I hate the Xbox One? No. I do not hate it. I, do, I, have, I have a lack of trust when it comes to the company itself. That much I can say. I feel like... Uh, I don't know if I can trust them. What have, what's to keep... I get an, I, I say I go ahead and get an Xbox One. All of a sudden DRM is put back in place. I feel like I wasted money. I don't have decent enough internet for that. Uh, this whole, whole craze of streaming games is not going to take off of the internet in such shambles as it is. Uh, ISPs trying to take control and gouge and strangle and get every bit of profit that they can get their hands on. A lot of greed is going on and a lot of people want to own and control the internet. Here's the problem. Internet belongs to all of us. I went over that before. Beating a dead horse at this point, but it's, it's, it's caused our infrastructure and everything to be crap in the U.S. So, uh, uh, a service like um, what Nintendo, I mean not Nintendo, uh, Sony's trying to do is just not going to work. I feel like for the next, uh, for Microsoft's next console, they're going to have to do something drastic and different. Because otherwise I don't think it's going to work so well. But, uh, uh, for sure, I'm getting an, a PS4. I already have a Wii U. Much as I love that console, the name is abysmal. But, uh, Rich, you, you need to think a little more before you start filming. You should have known, you know, common sense should have clicked in and went, oh, well, that's it. It's not their, and it's not their property. So, of course, it's probably going to be timed. This is something Microsoft's been doing for a long time. They've been doing the whole timed exclusive thing because they can't get it completely exclusive unless they pay a lot more money. The comment about them spend, already spending tens of millions of dollars, that's far-fetched, too. It's not tens of millions. It's right at a million, two million tops. If that much. It might not even be that much. It might be several thousand dollars that grease the developer's hands and said, are the company's hands, Square Enix's hands, and said, our console first. It should have been clear since day one that, yeah, it's not, it's not going to stay on their console. If you expect a game to stay on Microsoft console, it's going to have to be first party. And that does matter. That does matter. First party matters. 
first party, sec third party, second party, whatever. Those things matter. When it's third party, you're not going to get it caught on your system. And despite the fact that Nintendo is paying for the development of Bayonetta 2 and the remake of Bayonetta 1, despite the fact that they're paying for that goddamn microwave I gotta clean up. Despite the fact that they're paying for that development, there's nothing to keep Sega from turning around and going, well, it's our property. Let's go ahead and put it on other consoles. Make the most money we can. So, uh, yeah, in the future, just don't get so pissed off. And don't, and that whole thing where you went, think! The same could be said of you, dude. Think! Think about it. Process. Get those gears to turn in, man. It's, it, you should have known. You should have known and everybody else knows. And the video you made of where you, you said you said it wasn't a popular video. Well, of course it's not going to be popular, for good reason. But anything third party is never going to be stuck to one console. You buy each console, not see you're like you buy a console because of the exclusive. No, 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 no. Not that it's exclusive. You buy it because of the property, because of the first party. It's first party IPs you buy a console for. Not exclusivity. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You buy it because of first party software. You buy a Wii U, not for the gimmicky controller, but for Mario. I bought it for Mario in HD, Zelda in HD, Metroid in HD, Star Fox in HD, you know, all of that in HD. I'm going to get a Sony PlayStation for anything that comes out of the stu uh, Naughty Dog. Anything that comes from Naughty Dog and the folks who make uh, uh, the game with the pup, with the little sock boy, uh, uh, Little Big Planet, Little Big Planet, you know, that's what you buy a, a Sony console for is those first party uh, properties. Not that it's exclusive. The, the word exclusive shouldn't even cross your mind. First party is what what should be crossing your mind. And it does matter when it's a third party game. It's not going to end up being just on that console. It never will. There's nothing to keep Sega from putting those new Sonic games. The uh, let's see, uh, that one that. Uh, oh God. Give me a second. I'm thinking the name of it. Uh, well, the new one that's fixed to come out, Sonic. Uh, well, Sonic Lost World and this new Sonic Boom. There's nothing to keep Sega from putting that on other consoles. It could possibly end up on other consoles. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, man. Uh, just, just, you know, use the thousands of brain cells I know you have. You have ten tons of them. I know you do, because you generally, you're pretty brilliant. This is one of those situations, like a few situations, where I, I couldn't help but scratch my head and go, what? Really, man? I don't know. But, uh, all right, Rich. Uh, by the way, I don't hate Rich. I have no ill will towards him. I'm not telling people, and I'm not trying to say people should stop watching him. In fact, I encourage you to keep watching him. Just kind of watch it with a bit of an open mind and with your own opinions in place, with your own thought process. Uh, because some of the things that he says, and it's put it like this, 95% of the time I agree with him and I like what he has to say. But there's that other 5% of the time where I scratch my head going, what the fuck? This was one of those times. But, uh, alright, this has been the goop. You all have a fantastic one. This video ended up being long, too. Every time I make a video, long. That's the other problem. Last two videos, too long. This video, too long. I give up. Alright.